This is a nice knife. This is an Emerson Super Commander folding tactical knife. This is a preliminary look at it. At it. Uh, sorry if I get some of the details wrong. I'll correct that in the description write up when I do it. However, I am familiar with Emerson's. I have a CQC8 myself. I absolutely love it. Emerson does a lot right with their knives. They do have a couple weird things, actually just one weird thing they do, and I'll talk about that. But overall, Emerson knives are outstanding. The interesting thing about this particular knife, and it's a big blade, it's a four inch blade, but the whole knife feels relatively light. But truth be told, it's not. This is a 6.6 .6 ounce knife. So to me, that's not a lightweight tactical. But at a four inch blade, maybe that's the weight we need to accept if we want a blade that big. And let's go there now, the blade. The blade is uh, typical Emerson fashion. It's got those nice curvatures on it. A lot of belly in the blade, which is good for slash cuts. Maybe lose out a little bit on the thrust or plunge cut that way. However, it's uh, really nicely shaped. Not a big fan of the combo edge, generally speaking. I prefer a full plain edge. And I feel if we sharpen our plain edges uh, adequately, the whole need to have a serration is not needed. It's superfluous. But this is a combo edge version. If you like that, here it is. One of the odd things, actually the odd thing that Emerson does that I made reference to is how they sharpen their knives. And some of you all out there may like it, I don't. And that is they put a single edge grind on their blades. They feel that this cuts better, that it's a sharper and more durable edge. Uh, I don't like it because I feel like we can go asymmetrically, that is crooked through material. And again, this isn't just a defensive knife, this is a knife that we could use uh, in utility tasks and therefore, and probably that's mostly what it will be used for. So I'd much prefer a symmetrical grind on this blade rather than asymmetrical. And in fact, if you look at my CQC video on my other Emerson, you'll see that I have had that one reprofiled and I just like it so much better. It seems like, and it's easier, more importantly, it's easier for me to sharpen once I have that done. Because this knife as a single edge knife, uh, I'm not really a good sharpener to begin with, but when you present me with a single edge, oddly ground knife like this, uh, forget it, I can't do it. So, nice blade shape, beautiful BTS coating on the blade. Emerson does such a good, nice, uh, good job on their knives with their coatings. They're durable, about as durable as you can get for a black coating and I just love it. It's good looking if you like black blades. There's a nice, uh, in, all the information there stamped on the blade. Very decent. Lockup is absolutely solid. Do I need to say any more? That's a Emerson for you. They just lock up tight and they better lock up tight at this price point. How's the deployment of it? Fast. Like all Emersons, it's just wicked, wicked fast. You can go thumb stud on it. That wasn't a very good attempt by me or you can go with a wave extension off your pocket if you want to and in that then we'd be carrying it down snag it on the pocket and rip it out I don't really practice or train that way that way I can uh, just deploy all my knives the same way and that's with a thumb stud and in, under stress guess what you're gonna do what you've practiced whatever it is if you if you're used to a wave knife and you're under stress and guess what that day you chose not to carry a wave knife you're going to get screwed because you're going to try to deploy it just like a wave knife. Therefore, it's best to standardize your knife deployments, however it is, either thumb stud or waves. But this is a folding tactical knife, therefore, I, I feel it's very adequate for defensive purposes. So, just a note there. The handle is a great, great handle. G10, and it's finely checkered. Actually, Emerson does one of the best jobs on their G10 that I've seen. They just have a really fine, purposeful checkering on their G10 that they attach to their scales with regular Phillips screws, not Torx. So that's different. Also they have a slot screw here to adjust the pivot tension. That's different. And their, their scales are not skeletonized. I kind of wish they were because they could probably shave off nearly an ounce of this big knife. Like other Emerson's, it's got a Zytel spacer back there. Actually, that might be a G10 spacer. I don't know. So it's not a completely flow-through design, but close enough so we could wash out crap in it. Liner lock. I know some people don't like the liner lock. For whatever reason, they don't trust it. I've never had a quality liner lock fail on me, ever. Even under high, hard use, and I don't think this Emerson would either. Nicely actuated. Doesn't hurt the thumb. 
There's no uh, parts on the liner here that rips the skin off your thumb under some versions like I've talked about. Nice clip. Yes, I wish it was mounted higher on that handle. However, it's black and hardened stainless steel. Very nice clip. Strong, and it gives you the tip-up carry, which I prefer. And hopefully you do like where that clip's at because you're stuck with it. You can't switch it from side to side or change it to tip-down carry, which I, that's sad. Even though I, I like this configuration, I think all users should be able to change it however they feel. So just like Spyderco on some of their models, we should drill that out and change it so we have the option, truth be told. So that's a first look on the Emerson Super Commander. Large folding tactical knife. Uh, it's expensive though. Um, Skaggs Police Supply is selling this one for $265. Yeah, you could probably beat it somewhere. But like all Emersons, it's just going to be expensive. That being said, you'd have to think long and hard before pulling the trigger on this because there's a lot of options in that price category, if you ask me. But Emerson, like I said at the beginning, does a lot right with their knife. It's a fast deploying, excellent steel, by the way, 154 CM, which I'm a big fan of. Nice finish on the blade, good blade shape, weird grind. I would reprofile it if I were you. Great handle, solid lockup. So you do get your money's worth when you get an Emerson, especially in the Super Commander. Thanks for tuning in for this first look preliminary review on the Emerson Super Commander. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.